So for years, I, you know, I would live in a house and I'd live in an apartment, live in a house, live in an apartment. And the one thing that always has been a constant in my life is growing food, growing plants. And this can be difficult, but not impossible. I want to introduce you to, if you don't know about it yet, the grow bag. The grow bag is amazing. They're inexpensive. You can buy them through Amazon or eBay. You can choose your size. They start at, you know, any as small as a half a gallon and go up to 50. I mean, and all it is, it's like made from this fabric that holds up for up to five years. And you just fill the bag with soil and put your plants in it and they do phenomenally. So this year, I actually don't need grow bags, but I'm just crazy and I have too many plants and too many vegetables and I just couldn't throw them away because some of the stuff are more rare varieties that I like to share with people. But you can grow about anything in a container. Over here are my finger limes that I got at Costco, which is a funky new variety of lime from Australia. It's also known as a caviar lime. And you can see when I have extra soil, extra space down at the bottom, I might put in a little parsley or toss an onion in there, stuff just to maximize the space. Some beautiful datura trees, two more exotic varieties that I've put in pots. Down here, we have ground cherries in pots. Here's another grow bag. And I have a German ground cherry and a smaller grow bag over here. Now here's, this is interesting. I have my tomatoes growing on the outside in the ground and then in the inside, I have them in these five gallon pots. So I can really control the watering and insect control. Now here's an old wheelbarrow that the wheel went bad and because the wheelbarrow was so old, there was no wheel that would fit it I could buy. And I planted it full of peppers and ground cherries and look how well they're doing in that old wheelbarrow. The important thing is drainage. Whenever you put something in a, a pot, you have to have good drainage. So you have to drill lots of holes in the bottom or make sure that you have that drainage so water doesn't sit and the roots don't rot. So that's it. Put it in a pot. Now, if you put it in a small pot, it's your plants aren't gonna do very well. So the size of the pot will dictate how large the plant actually gets. So with like a tomato plant or something that vines or gets larger or what we're seeing here, you're going to want a minimum of a five gallon pot or larger. And really explore these grow bags because they are fantastic and they really hold up well. Now these plants, I just started uh, my original seeds I got in the spring died there. Green cherry tomatoes, which I'll have seeds available. They almost taste like they were smoked. If I could grow one variety of tomato, it would be the green cherry tomato. The only tricky part is knowing when to pick them because they don't turn yellow or red, but oh my God, this tomato variety is mind blowing. And because it's a cherry tomato, it's more favorable to grow in a pot or a, you know on the patio or in a bag. Here's a German ground cherry I'm always talking about. And it's in a grow bag that I got from Amazon. And look at these beauties. This is growing out of a pot as well and doing really well. Now the one thing you're gonna remember also though, when it's in a pot, is that you have to monitor the water carefully. Especially if it's in full sun and it's a black pot because the color is going to uh, absorb heat and light and and make it dry out quicker and tomatoes one thing tomatoes have to have is consistent watering or they will blight they will show signs of stress and as you see here i'm doing it right because there's not one yellow leaf and no signs of stress and that may mean you having to water twice a day just letting you know if you're going to commit to it do it right so there's just a lot of options for you for growing things in containers, vegetables, and flowers. If you like my channel, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment box. If you like my channel, please subscribe. It helps. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other because how we treat each other on the streets is our actual reality. Bye for now.